Hello, everybody. It's Father John Mitchell here at St. Pascal Balon Church. It's Thursday, March 19th, 2020. It's the Feast of St. Joseph. Thank you all for tuning in to this Facebook live stream, or for those of you watching it later. In about five minutes, I'll be starting the Mass, so wanted to give you this link to invite you to the Mass. I know that we're not celebrating public Masses now here in the Archdiocese for the next two weeks. Archbishop Hebda put out that notification. So here at St. Pascal Balon, like a lot of other churches, we're not going to be able to celebrate public Masses for two weeks. But I thought I would try live streaming this Mass at 5 o'clock today, Thursday, to see how it works. So it's kind of a sample try. And I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. And I'm just going to try another couple of settings here. A tripod. One minute. So this is what it sounds like. I don't know if this is loud enough. I'll talk in just a normal voice. Let me see what your comments are at the bottom of the page. I don't have the microphone turned on right now, so I'm just trying it with, without the microphone, but I think that works pretty well. I'm going to go check your comments to see if this is loud enough. Okay. All right. Well, the camera, I see the comment from Tony that the camera keeps turning. All right, I've got the camera up on a, it's vertical now. And, okay, good. Can hear you depending on the Wi-Fi signal. All right. So, I've got about two minutes to five o'clock, so I'm going to go back around and Get ready to start. Okay, everybody. Here we are at Thursday, March 19th, 2020. I'm Father John Mitchell here at St. Pascal Balon Church in St. Paul. Today is the first day of the not having public masses here in the Archdiocese because of the COVID-19 virus going out. And so Archbishop Hebda has asked us not to have public masses for the next two weeks at least, and then he's going to reevaluate it after that. So I wanted to try connecting with you, with other people, either live on Facebook now or later as you're watching this mass to uh, celebrate mass with you. I know you're not going to be able to receive communion today, but you can make a spiritual communion. Uh, make a spiritual communion with our Lord through the Mass here today. With that, uh, it looks like it's 5 o'clock, so uh, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Brothers and sisters, we gather this afternoon on this feast of St. Joseph, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. We come before our Lord today asking for help for all those throughout the world that are struggling today because of the coronavirus. We ask the Lord for strength, for healing in our own lives, and we ask the Lord for mercy for the times we have sinned. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to bring us peace. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my father my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever will I maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, 
according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They shall never cease to praise you. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, into festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them, asking them questions, and all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, brothers and sisters, today is the feast day of St. Joseph. It's March 19th. Uh, today, it's actually the first day of spring, so that's a good hopeful sign that spring is now officially here and we've started a new season in the weather world. It's rather rainy today, so I don't know how many of you were able to get outside and go for a walk, but the rain shows us that new life is coming and springtime means flowers and springtime growth and all those good things. And so on Joseph, we honor Joseph, the husband of Mary. And St. Joseph is the patron saint of workers and carpenters and fathers. He is also the patron saint of Austria and Belgium, Bohemia and Canada, Mexico, Peru, and Vietnam. And for some of us like me, uh, Joseph is, well, Joseph is my middle name. So I've always had a great uh, appreciation and love for St. Joseph. We hear in the Gospel reading uh, for this feast day about Joseph and Mary and Jesus going up to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. And because it's so crowded there, the typical thing uh, at the end of the feast, they're going home and even though Jesus isn't with them, they figure he's somewhere in the group and as we travel on, we'll find him. And little do Joseph and Mary know, but Jesus stays behind in Jerusalem. And they go back there, and for three days they're looking for Jesus, and finally they find him. And Jesus reveals to him a little bit of more about his identity as the Son of God. For there he is at age 12 in the temple, and he reveals to them that he is in his Father's house. His Father in heaven has sent him on an important mission. And he reveals this a little bit more now to, his, to Mary and to Joseph. They begin to understand more and more that Jesus must do his Father's will and that Jesus has been given a mission. I think a couple of good lessons we could take from the feast day today. And first of all is that St. Joseph was dedicated as a parent, as a father. He provided for his family and he had a great love for his for his wife and for, for Jesus. And so, just like all parents in the world today, you have a great love for your children and your spouse, and St. Joseph can be a good inspiration for, for that. Also, as a parent, 
Mary and Joseph had an unexpected thing happen to them. When Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, I'm sure they didn't expect that to happen. But they adjusted in their life and they, they figured it out. And that, a lot of parents have to do that. You have to figure things out as you go. Your unexpected things happen to you in your family life. And, and of course, on a bigger scale for all of us now in this world of the coronavirus out there, we know that we've had to change. We've, it was not expected that this would happen. And we're figuring it out. We're, we're, we're going day by day. But in the midst of all this, just like for St. Joseph, God provides for us. And I think it's in these times when people are worried and anxious and maybe afraid that we as Christians and as Catholics, that we can be a good example to other people. That in the, in the worst of times, we can bring out the best in ourselves and the best in each other. We need to learn to share, how to be patient, how to be forgiving and understanding. We need to put faith in God and faith in each other. And we will get through this. We will get through these days if we st stick together and we pray for one another. And even as I say that, as we stick together, uh, I heard one person say, we we'll get through this together by staying apart. Kind of ironic that it comes to that, that we have to practice this social distancing and for the good of each other that we have to stay apart but one thing that brings us together all the time is the Eucharist. We are together, brothers and sisters, in the celebration of this Mass. All of you are here with me now in my prayers, and we need to continue to pray for one another. So let us thank the Lord then for St. Joseph, a wonderful role model for all of us. And let us entrust our lives and our church and our world to the intercession of St. Joseph the Lord to help us now and always. In humble trust, we turn to you, O Lord, as we pray. For all fathers who strive to provide for their families with honor and grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those parishes that honor Joseph as their patron, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all disciples who willingly serve God's holy people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children who are orphaned by tragedies and neglect, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick especially those dealing with the coronavirus, and for the doctors and nurses that help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember in our prayers Jim Stack, for whom we offer this Mass intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift up our prayers to you. We ask you in your goodness to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and please with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. 
We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, and to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paschal Balon, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, I know that you're not able at this time to receive Holy Communion in the form of bread and wine, but I invite you now to make a spiritual communion to open up your heart to our Lord Jesus and his real presence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, it's nice, great having you here uh, via social media with me today. It's the first time I've ever celebrated Mass this way, so it was a first time for all of us. Take care, keep safe, keep healthy, and uh, stay tuned. I'll try to make arrangements to, do, to offer Mass in, in a way like this, possibly through Facebook streaming or by some other way. So tune in to our St. Paschal website to keep up with uh, the latest updates and announcements. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>